What's up guys? Got a long overdue video for you today. This one is basically for the security of your iDevice. And I figure, you know, it's better late than never, especially with iOS 5 around the corner. Don't want anybody's devices getting hacked into in the meantime. Now mind you, I have downgraded all the way from 5.0 beta 7 all the way back down to 4.3.3 just to show you this. So make sure you show that like button some love, click on that, add it to your favorites, subscribe of course, follow me on Twitter, uh, leave me some comments, all that good stuff. So basically, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you uh, on the first, uh, first things first here, I'm going to go ahead and show you that I am on 4.3.3, so we'll go to settings, general, and about, and as you can see, I am on 4.3.3, and I just downgraded just for you guys, so I have nothing on my phone, except Cydia. So, let's backtrack here, and uh, just to show you uh, the issue at hand, we are going to go into Safari, so go ahead and click on Safari, and we will go ahead and type this address in. It is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash ISSL dot recurity R E C U R I T Y dot com forward slash. So there is the site that you will type in to test the vulnerability of your iDevice. Now, when we qu when we click uh, go, we should not be able to view this page without a warning. However, those of you who do not have this package added it from Cydia are going to get this. And basically, this is not what we want to see. And it tells you right here, if your web browser allowed you to see this via HTTPS without any warning, your iDevice is vulnerable. No, we do not want that. And then it goes on to say, make sure it doesn't look like this, which <laughs> in our case, yes, it does look just like that. So basically, uh, to make a long story short, we need to fix this security hole, the security, security vulnerability, the loophole, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And just to be on the safe side, what I always do is go back down to settings and we'll go back here a couple times go back into Safari go ahead and click there and we are going to clear everything from our Safari so clear the cache, clear the cookies and clear the history so everything is good now we're going to navigate over to Cydia go ahead and click on that and the package is uh, very easy to find. All you're going to do is down in the bottom right hand corner of Cydia where you see your search. You are going to just go ahead and click that. And let's let Cydia reload the data, download the packages, and all that good stuff. Here is the package that you want to install it's ISSL Fix. So, as I said before, just go ahead, click on the search down in the bottom right hand corner. And, uh, well, who was that? Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, thanks, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then click on uh, ISSL Fix. You're going to go ahead and click Install for that. And then top right-hand corner again to confirm. And once uh, you go ahead and install that, this is going to require you to reboot your device. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this on. Uh, I'm not going to edit or cut out or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and click reboot and let it do its thing. And I will turn uh, my screen splitter back on as soon as the device pops back up. So there it is. Uh, quick, simple, and easy fix. Um, so your phone is secure now or your iDevice is secure now and is not uh, susceptible to viruses, malware, hackers, because uh, you definitely don't want to give hackers your personal information, uh, email addresses, or the ability to go ahead and pretty much take over your device and do whatever they please with it. So, uh, like I said, I figured I'd go ahead, downgrade the phone, 
just to show you this so everybody can have a secure device, not have to worry about vulnerabilities, malware attacks, or any of that bad stuff. So uh, the device popped back up. Let me go back into my screen splitter, turn that back on, and there is my device. Okay, we're going to go back into Safari now, and we're going to go ahead and type in the same uh, same address here. So, once again, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash ISSL dot recurity dot com forward slash. Now this time, when we hit go, we should get a warning message that pops up. That is exactly what we want to see. And there it is. And basically, it just goes to show you that uh, Safari cannot identify the, uh, or can't verify the identity of the server. Would you like to continue anyway? No, we don't want to continue. We want to cancel that. But mainly that big uh, pop-up there is what we want to see. Basically letting you know that now your device is secure. So that's it. Um, there's my uh, video for the day. Hope it helped you guys out. Um, mainly for those people who are on 4.3.3 and are thinking about jailbreak, uh, or thinking about jailbreaking, if, if you do that, that'd be the first thing that I installed. Uh, for those of you that already have the jailbreak, have had the 4.3.3 jailbreak since forever ago, um, you know, maybe that was something that uh, was looked over or maybe you guys didn't even know about. So I hope it helped. I hope it helped you guys out. And if it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. As always, click up top to where it says subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and add me on Google Plus and all that other good stuff. All the links are on my channel page. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.